Hello everyone, let's start with question number 5. So it says a positive integer is of the form 3 q plus 1. q being a natural number can you write its square in any form other than 3m plus 1 that is 3m or 3m plus 2 for some integer m. Justify your answer. So in this case we are given that we need to check whether we can write 3q plus 1 in the form of 3m or 3m plus 2 or 3m plus 1. So in this case again we would be using Euclid's division lemma that is a equal bq plus r and b in this case is 3 and r lies between 0 and b. So r b. So it can li it lies between 0 and 3. So therefore r, r can take 3 values that is 0, 1 and 2. So r at 0 r at 0 equals a equals b is 3, 3 q. Now we need to check the square of it. a square equals 3 q whole square. So it, it can be written as 9 q square. Now we need to make it as 3 m. So I would be taking 3 out and we are left with 3 q square inside. So 3 q square can be written as m. You need to define that where m equals 3q square. Now the next is r equals 1. So it is a equals 3q plus 1. a square equals 3q plus 1 whole square. So it can be written as 9q square plus 1 square plus 2 into 3q. That will be 6q. I will be keeping 1 at the back. So we are left with 9q square plus 6q plus 1. Now we need to bring 3 outside. So 3q square plus 2q plus 1. Now what we are left with is the bracket 1. It need to be written as m. Again you need to define that this is m here. Now we, are, we get the value as 3m plus 1. Now we are going to check for 3q plus 2. So 3q plus 2. Now for r equals 2. a becomes 3q plus 2. Now we need to take square of it. So 3q plus 2 whole square equal 9q square. 2 square is 4. 4 plus 3q into 2 into 2. That will be 12q. Now I will bring 12q ahead and will split 4 as 3 and 1. So plus 12q plus 3 plus 1. Now in this case what we can take common from first 3 term is 3. So we are left with 3q square plus 4q plus 1 plus 1. Now whatever is in the bracket it can be written as m. So it is 3. It, it is in the form of 3m plus 1. So we can justify our answer as by saying that we get 3m in the first case. In the second case again 3m plus 1. Again in the third case we get is 3m plus 1. So, we can just uh, conclude that a perfect square, perfect square will be of the form of 3m and 3m plus 1. So, that's your answer for question number 5.